Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a what's in my diaper bag video, which has been extremely highly requested. I get this request all the time for some reason, which, you know, I could see why I guess it could be interesting, especially if you're a new mom or you're an expecting mother of like your first child. Um, knowing what to keep in your diaper bag can sometimes be like maybe a little daunting, like okay, I'm a new mom, I don't know what to keep in my diaper bag, you know what I mean? Now to be honest with you, there's no right or wrong when it comes to diaper bags. You eventually learn like... You just pack what you need and you just kind of learn what you need. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. This is my um, diaper bag. It looks like this and it's the brand Skip Hop. And my friend got this for me for my um, baby shower and it was so sweet of her. I absolutely love this diaper bag. Um, so in this first pocket right here on the side, I just have my changing mat. It's an awesome little changing mat. It says Laney Bug on it and you just open it up and then you lay them on here when you change their diaper. And I find these to be really, really handy, especially if I'm like shopping. Like when I'm at the mall, I notice a lot of times like Nordstrom and stuff, they have like the changing tables or like the fold down diaper changer table things. And you definitely don't want to set your baby on one of those without a cover because um, it's just gross. So this has definitely come in handy for me. I use it all the time. And plus when Elena was a baby, she doesn't do it so much anymore. But when she was like a newborn baby, like every time I would take her diaper off, she would pee. Like she would always pee. And so she'd pee all over her like changing table if I didn't have something underneath of her. So then I'd have to change the, ta the table cover or if like I was changing her on the floor or something, she would always pee like as soon as I would take her diaper off. So it's important to kind of guard your floor or your changing table or whatever it is that you're changing your baby on with something like this because I know Elena always peed when I took her diaper off. All right, so then in these side pockets here, um, I have some paperwork from when I took her to the doctor. And what else is in here? I don't think I have anything else in there. And in this front pocket, I have her wipes and I use these little pamper wipes. Um, I don't know, I just really like Pampers. I like the brand Pampers over Huggies. I don't know why, I just like Pampers. Um, now some people have like those little plastic things that they keep their things in, but I just buy the bags that have like the little opener right here. Um, it's just easier than having to like refill one of those plastic containers. Um, so I just get one of these at the store. And then in this side pocket right here, it's like a little cell phone pocket, um, I have, I don't even really know what's in here hardly. Um, I have a little thing of puffs. Now, I get these ones, I think they're Gerber or something, and she's not like eating puffs a lot right now actually. Um, she kind of, I give them to her every once in a while, and what I do is I soak them in water first so they get kind of mushy, and then I let her kind of chew on them a little bit because she doesn't have really any teeth, and they do dissolve eventually, so if I didn't dip them in water first it would be fine. But because she still doesn't have teeth and she's still kind of young for little puffs, I make sure I dip them in water and then give them to her just like one by one. I don't give her like a pile of them or anything like that. Um, but I just have a tiny little thing of them just because it kind of keeps her occupied. Like if we take her out to dinner or lunch or something, I can just give her like one puff and she kind of like gnaws on it for a while. And then I have a headband and um, I like this headband. I like these because they um, fit babies' heads really well without cutting off their circulation. A lot of times I've noticed with hair bows, um, they start getting really tight on their head as they start to grow and they start getting like lines around their head and I look, it looks so uncomfortable. So I really like these really thick ones because they're really stretchy so they don't leave marks on their head and they just seem the most comfortable. So I keep this one, it's a white and pink one because she always wears white and pink so I figure this will go with most of her stuff. So I just leave that in my diaper bag if we like go out or something and I want to put a bow on her. And then I have this blanket, this is just like a... Just One You by Carter's. This is just a Carter's blanket. And it's not like overly soft or anything, but it's small and it's thick. So if she does need a blanket, if it starts to get really chilly out all of a sudden, I need to wrap her in it really quick or put it over her car seat or something like that, I have it. And it's just like a thinner blanket, just kind of like a cotton material. It has ballet slippers on it. And then I have one of these blankets. This is called, um, these are by... Eden and Anai, and I think you can get them at Target, and you can also get them at like baby boutiques and stuff. They have like nicer ones of like the same brand, but this is the Target brand, and these are the best swaddle blankets. Not that I still swaddle Elena, but um, if you do have a new baby, get this brand. It's called Eden and Anai, and they're big, giant blankets, so they're easy to swaddle, swaddle your baby in, because a lot of times you buy swaddle blankets and you wash them, and they shrink up really, really small, so you can't swaddle your baby. So this is the best brand to get, and I like to carry these around because 
sometimes in the car like the sun blares into her eyes and she can't see and she always like has to close her eyes so I can drape this and it's a really thin material like super super thin it's like you know linen or whatever and you can just like lay it over her car seat so the sun isn't in her eyes but it's not like super hot or anything like that and it still kind of lets light in but it just blocks the sun and then I have these shoes um, these are petty peds and I got these on Amazon and they're just little pink shoes and um, I put these on her but let me tell you guys when you have a new baby you're not gonna put them in shoes very often like I had the biggest weakness for shoes like baby shoes I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna go crazy buying baby shoes but I will tell you something you hardly ever put your baby in shoes because these either kick them off they're too hard to put on or they're just annoying like your baby doesn't walk so why do they need shoes you know what I mean but I like these because they're really easy to put on they're really really soft um, and they stay on her feet really well because they're a little bit more expensive baby shoes I think they're like 20 bucks or something but they're really really cute and so I put these on her when it's really cold outside and she needs like a little bit more warmth like on her little feet and stuff and I have a pair of socks because I always keep socks on her and sometimes she'll even kick her socks off too so and then I have this little book it's like a toy and it says it's Garanimals and this is the best toy seriously you guys best toy you need to find um, they have sometimes like little um, square like material or cloth squares and they put like this stuff in it did you hear that it's like I don't know what it, what it is inside but it makes like a crinkly noise and babies love these I'm serious like love Elena will sit here and play with this thing forever and it has like little gnawing things on the corners for her and she loves this because it makes a lot of noise and it's just a really good little toy and plus it packs really well because it's small so I pack that around then I have diapers she's in size 3 and I use pampers because I just like pampers but the one thing I have noticed is pampers run smaller than huggies um, I find that Huggies size 2 are this, like the same size as Pampers size 3. So um, she's in size 3 in Pampers, but size 2 in Huggies. So I don't know, but I still like Pampers better. And then I always keep a change of clothes for her, usually something really comfy, or I'll put a pair of pajamas, because I find that sometimes I'm out really late or something, and I want to change her into something comfy like her jammies. So I'll usually keep jammies or just like a really comfortable outfit. And I have this little pink onesie. It has like little flowers on the chest and then a pair of like pink pants. So it's just like a really comfy outfit. If she's like wearing something really uncomfortable that day, I can just like change her if we're like out late or something. And then I have a travel lotion. And this is, um, let's see, this is a Sleep Better Johnson's Bedtime Lotion. And it kind of smells lavendery. And I guess it's proven to make them like sleep better. I don't know. But it's just a small size because her little cheeks always get really chapped. And I feel so bad. They always look like they hurt really bad. So I just put that on like her little cheeks and stuff. And then I have these pacifier wipes by Munchkin. And these are just like, she always drops her pacifier on the floor. And I'm the worst person at packing those little clips that you clip to their clothes and then clip to the pacifier. So when they like drop it out, it doesn't drop on the floor, which are the best things ever. I love those things so much, but I always forget to like pack them or put them on her. So she'll always spit out her pacifier onto the floor or whatever. So I just use these to sanitize them. And then I have this shirt, which is um, my, a shirt for me. And I needed this more when she was younger, too, just because she spit up a lot when she was younger and, like, pooping and stuff. Sometimes she'd blow her diaper out, and I always was afraid that she was going to spit up all over me or I was going to get poop on me or I was going to leak, which is probably TMI. But when you're an, um, a nursing mother, you have a tendency to leak sometimes. So I brought an, I pack an extra shirt for me just in case. Um, this is just like an off-the-shoulder t-shirt type thing that I can just throw on if something gets ugly. Um, so And it packs, it like folds up really, really tiny, so I just leave that in there. And then on these top zippers, there's two zippers right here on the top. Um, I have this little guy. This is the Sophia. I think it's called Sophia Giraffes, and they're um, squeaky. They almost look like dog toys, but these are really good for teething. Um, they're like a rubbery material, and they squeak, so she can like chew on it, and it makes a squeaking noise. I know that sounds weird, but these are really, really good for babies, and she loves it. And then I have this. This was on her um, car seat forever. It would just kind of hang in front of her and she'd like bat at it. But I ended up taking it off because I got her a new one because I felt like she was kind of getting bored of this one. But I leave it in my diaper bag anyways because sometimes I can like clip it onto high chairs at restaurants and she can like play with it in her high chair but it won't fall on the floor. So that's what I like about these that like have the little hooks is you can like clip them to things so they don't fall on the floor like when you're out in public or whatever. 
And then I have a bib. This is just a bib for teething. It's not for really eating because it's like a material bib, um, but she has a tendency to drool a lot. So um, I pack these just in case she's having one of those really drooly days where she's drooling like constantly. And so I keep that in there. I have um, hand sanitizer for when she, or when I change her diaper. And this is Winter Candy Apple, and this is by Bath and Body Works. And it's like the best smell ever. Oh my god. Sometimes I just put this on. Like, I don't even need to sanitize my hands, but it just smells so good that I, like, just put it on. I love it. Oh, it smells so good. A passy. I always keep a passy. And, like, Elena's been, like, a pacifier sucker since the day she was born. And then I have another bib. But this is, like, an eating bib because um, it's plastic on the front, so you can just, like, wipe or wash them off and kind of let them dry. So they're really good for eating, like, baby food and stuff. Um, because she is like the messiest eater ever, like seriously ever. And then I have a thermometer. Um, when she was first born, she had a problem maintaining her temperature. So we were like hooked on thermometers. We had to take her temperature like four or five times a day. Um, so this has been in there like ever since then. And I don't really use it much anymore, but I have it just in case. And then I always keep this in here. This is her lifetime immunization record. And you have to kind of keep track of when they get their immunizations. And if I don't keep this in here, I'll forget it every time I go to the doctor. So, And then I just have a baby spoon for feeding if she needs to eat or whatever. I don't keep baby food in here unless I know that I'm going to need it. Like I'll pack it when I leave. Because still right now she's not really in like the... She doesn't eat all the time. You know what I mean? Like I can still kind of breastfeed her if I need to or whatever so I don't pack baby food unless I know I'm gonna need it um, so that's it that is my diaper bag a lot of stuff can fit into a diaper bag like seriously like there's a ton of stuff out here right now but um, I hope this was helpful and um, let me know if there's any other baby videos you want to see other than her updates I don't know if I'm gonna do an update for this month just because not much has changed since my last one that I did of her um, so I might wait until the next month her eight month update so if there's any other videos similar to this one that you want to see um, let me know and I'd be happy to do them for you guys because um, I think they're really interesting too. So go ahead and request them below if you, you know, have any requests. And yeah, so I guess I will talk to you guys later. And Elena's taking a nap, otherwise I'd show her to you guys, but she's sleeping right now. So um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!